E aí, pessoal? Beleza? <laughs> At this stage, you already know how to say hi, how are you in Portuguese, but do you really know how to greet others like a Brazilian? Hmm, welcome back to Plain Portuguese, where you learn some form and some more casual expressions you can use to greet others like a Brazilian. Are you new to our channel? Then don't forget to subscribe, catch up on the lessons you have missed, and give a thumbs up to the ones you enjoy. Some lessons ago you learned different ways to say goodbye in Portuguese. How about learning today different ways to say hi, how are you, and impress your Brazilian friends, huh? In today's lesson you learn some formal, informal, and some slang words used in Brazil. Yeah, oh, and don't miss the tip of the day, yeah? Grab your notebook and let's get started. <laughs> Oh, before we start, since you'll be learning a great deal of expressions today, I strongly recommend that you repeat after me as we go through them. Repetition is key to learning anything, so don't forget to repeat after me, trying to copy the way I speak. Yeah? Well, the most formal ways to greet someone are Bom dia, so as in jeans, dia. Bom dia. Bom dia. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Boa noite. Boa noite. Bom dia. Boa tarde. Boa noite. Well, after greeting someone, the question that usually follows is how are you? Yes? So, these are some formal options to how are you. Como vai? Como vai? Como vão as coisas? Ah, this one is similar to how are things going? Yeah? Como vão as coisas? Como vão as coisas? Como tem passado? Hmm, how have you been? Como tem passado? Tem passado bem? Tem passado bem? And then, which are the common responses to these questions? Well, if you're a man, say Estou bem, obrigado. E você? Estou bem, obrigado. E você? Simplifying. Bem, obrigado. E você? Bem, obrigado. E você? Now, if you're a woman, estou bem, obrigada. E você? Estou bem, obrigada. E você? Simplifying. Bem, obrigada. E você? Bem, obrigada. E você? Ah, muito bem. Well, tudo bem and tudo bom can be used in formal and informal contexts. Yeah? There is no difference between bem and bom in this specific context. So, tudo bem is the same as tudo bom here. Yeah? So, repeat after me. Tudo bem? Em. Tudo bem? Tudo bom? Tudo bom? How can you respond to that? Well, you may repeat what you were asked and add e você. Ah, tudo bem, e você? Tudo bom, e você? Simplify. Tudo e você? Tudo e você? Estou bem e você? Estou bem e você? Or, 
Bem e você? Bem e você? Ah, as a reply. E for a man? Estou bem, obrigado. Bem, obrigado. Woman? Estou bem, obrigada. Bem, obrigada. Mm, now the fun part starts. <laughs> Let's see some more informal and some slang words you can use to greet and ask how a person is in Brazil. In Brazil, no, in Brazilian Portuguese, yes. By the way, uh, tell me in the comments below if you tend to be more formal or more informal when speaking Portuguese. Yes. Well, instead of bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, you can greet someone with olá. Olá. Yeah, that's equivalent to hello. Oi. Oi, equivalent to hi. Oi. Opa! <laughs> This one is commonly used by men. Yes, like, it's like, hey, opa! Opa! <laughs> e aí? I like this one. E aí? Literally translates into and there, but it's equivalent to what's up. E aí? E aí? Yeah, some people may also say e aí? E aí? Salve! <laughs> More commonly used by men. Yes, I don't even know the proper intonation to use. Salve! Salve! <laughs> ah, do you remember that we can say follow when saying goodbye? Ah, if you have no idea of what I'm talking about, check out the lesson on more than 20 ways to say goodbye in Portuguese, yeah? Well, so do you remember that we can say follow when saying goodbye? Guess what? We can say fala, meaning hi. Yes, it seems that you are asking the other person, the other person, sorry, to speak to you. Like, ah, fala, Jorge. Repeat, yes, of course, Jorge. <laughs> fala, Jorge. Ah, fala aí, Jorge. Fala aí, Jorge. After saying hi or whichever other phrase you chose to greet the other person, it's time to ask how she or he is. Our safest options are tudo bem, tudo bom, but you're here today to learn other expressions, aren't you? I know you are. <laughs> tudo certo? Is everything all right? Tudo certo? Tudo certo? All in the diminutive. Tudo certinho? Tudo certinho? Tudo joia? This one is kind of old-fashioned, but I love it. Joia means jewel. Yeah? Joia. J, as in vision. Joia. Tudo joia? <laughs> It's a bit old-fashioned. Tudo joia? To answer these questions, you may repeat what you were asked and add E você? Yes. Tudo bem? E você? Tudo bom? E você? Tudo certo? E você? Tudo certinho? E você? Tudo joia? E você? Or simplifying Tudo? E você? Well, since we are being more informal, use the simplified options to reply back. All questions with tudo can be replied with um, tudo, obrigado, tudo, obrigada, yeah? And then questions that have tudo bem can be replied with tudo, obrigado, tudo, obrigada, and also Bem, obrigado. Bem, obrigada. Yeah? So, questions that have the word tudo can be replied with tudo, obrigado, tudo, obrigada. And then, questions that have the word bem can be replied with tudo, obrigado, tudo, obrigada, because they had like tudo bem. And also, bem, obrigado, bem, obrigada. Well, some alternatives to tudo bem, tudo bom are 
Beleza. Beleza means beauty, but as a greeting, it's not used in its literal sense. You can safely use it, yeah? Beleza. Beleza. Za. Beleza. Tudo beleza? Tudo beleza? Hum. Tranquilo. Tranquilo means calm, but as a greeting, not used in its literal sense. You can safely use it. Tranquilo? Tranquilo? Tudo tranquilo? Tudo tranquilo? De boa? Or, de boa? De boa? I have no idea how to translate this into English, yes, but it's quite casual and colloquial. E aí, de boa? Well, you can reply them by repeating what you were asked and adding e você at the end. So then we have, beleza? Beleza, e você? Tranquilo? Tranquilo, e você? De boa? De boa, e você? You can also ask how the person has been or if there is any news. Hmm? Como você anda? Oh, there is a great lesson on the channel on the different uses of the verb andar. Check it out. So, repeat after me. Como você anda? Como você anda? Como você tem andado? Como você tem andado? Qual é a boa? <laughs> This is like, what's new? Qual é a boa? Qual, not qual. Mm -mm. Qual. Qual é a boa? Qual é a boa? Uh -huh, muito bem. Oh, any news to tell me? O que você conta de novo? O que você conta de novo? Ah, o que você can be shortened to que se, yes? Você conta de novo? Você conta de novo? Alguma novidade? Any news? Alguma novidade? If you have no news, well, then you can say same old, same old. Tudo na mesma. Tudo na mesma. Nada demais. Nada demais. Yes. But then, well, if something extraordinary happened, feel free to share it. Let's see some dialogues before the tip of the day. Let's start with more formal conversations. Don't forget to repeat after me, yes? Bom dia, como vai? Estou bem, obrigado. E você? Muito bem, obrigada. Hmm, our second conversation. Boa tarde, como tem passado? Bem, obrigado. E você? Bem, obrigada. Oh, everybody's polite. Now a little less formal. <laughs> Olá, tudo bem? Tudo bem. E você? Tudo. Obrigada. By the way, if you're a man, you should say tudo. Obrigado. Yeah? So, um, let's do this one again. Olá, tudo bem? Tudo bem, e você? Tudo. Obrigada. Great. Now let's see more colloquial ones. Oi, Jorge. E aí? Beleza? Beleza, e você? Tudo jóia. Huh? Que bom. <laughs> That's good. Ai, mais uma vez. Oi, Jorge. E aí, beleza? 
Beleza, e você? Tudo jóia. Que bom. Ai, ai. Another one. Fala aí, Jorge. De boa? Opa, tranquilo. O que você conta de novo? Tudo na mesma. E você? Nada demais. Uh, let's try to simplify this one. Remember that I said that o que você can be shortened to que se. Yes? So let's shorten it. Fala aí, Jorge. De boa? Opa, tranquilo. Você conta de novo? Sim. Você conta de novo? Tudo na mesma. E você? Nada demais. Olá literally translates into hello. You can use olá when seeing a friend on the street. Olá, Jorge. You can use olá when texting. Olá, Jorge. You can use olá when checking if there's anybody home. Olá, tem alguém em casa? Olá, tem alguém aí? But when picking up the phone, Hmm, then there is another word in Portuguese that also translates into hello. Alô. Yes, alô. So when picking up the phone, uh, don't say olá, but say alô. Alô? Ah, desculpe. Aqui não tem ninguém com esse nome. Ah, sem problemas. <laughs> She had the wrong number. So again, when picking up the phone, should you say olá or alô? Alô, yes. When seeing a friend on the street, when texting, when checking if there's anybody home. Olá. Ah, muito bem, muito bem. Gostou da aula de hoje? So then, don't forget to tell me if you tend to be more formal or more informal when uh, speaking Portuguese. Yeah, this way I can tailor better our lessons. Thank you for watching another class. Don't forget to leave me comments and questions below. I love to read and answer them. And see you next time. Até a próxima. Tchau!